class 11 in the last two videos we tried to understand what is geography why do we need to study geography geography as a study of aerial differentiation geography as an integrating discipline and the relationship between physical and natural science now let us move ahead with the new topic that is geography and social science now when we talk about social science we need to understand the social and cultural aspect of human beings or human society now each social science has interface with different branches of geography for example geography and history political science economics environmental science like this we will see that all this social science are related to or we can say as interface with one branch of geography now each discipline has its own philosophy that means they have its own reason they attain which means that that philosophy has some purpose for existence now let us try to understand the relationship between geography and social science with one example for example geographical thought it is a branch of geography it is related to philosophy now philosophy has actually provided the root to geographical thought and why in the process of evaluation it has to pass through some distinct geographical experience which led to introduction of geographical thought in the university curriculum of the colleges and we will see that it is included in the university level education as a part of geography now we will see that there are other branches other kinds of uh, social science which are interlinked with geography like as we said political science economics we have sociology demography these are the kinds of social science now let us understand what is sociology sociology means which studies human societies classification of human societies it is related with social geography now what is economics economics deals with production distribution exchange consumption of goods and services it has interface with economic geography now what is political science political science as a subject it deals with territory people the sovereignty 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 of a particular place while 
पॉलिटिकल ज्योग्राफी स्टडीज स्टेट एज अ स्पेशल यूनिट along with state it also studies people and their political behavior now let us move at demography which actually deals with or we can say studies the characteristics of population of human beings it has interface with population geography so we can say that geography as a discipline follows its own methodology which makes it actually distinct from any other discipline it has its own methodology and it follows its own methodology but it do allows inflows from all subjects but each and every subject maintains their individuality for example talk about political science history economics sociology demography philosophy so we can say that it actually allows inflows from all the subject but each and every subject maintains its individuality so we can say that it has actually a osmotic relationship osmotic you have learned it in science which means diffusion of fluid through different membranes for example the cell in our body are separated through membranes but they have individual identity that does not obstruct the flow of blood okay so to understand geography as a whole subject you need to understand different disciplines of social science and natural science now let us move ahead with a very interesting topic of geography now we will move ahead to approaches of geography geography as we all can understand is an interdisciplinary subject so to understand geography it is very important to understand the approaches through this approaches we can understand geography now which are the approaches that we will actually try to understand systematic approach and regional approach now what is systematic approach now this term this approach of systematic actually was first given by alexander von humboldt he is and german geographer and this approach of regional has been given by karl ritter who was also a german geographer 
Now, what do you mean by systematic approach? Now, systematic approach is actually based on geographical units. Whereas, regional approach is based on political units. In systematic approach, you will see that they are actually taking single element to study. But in regional approach, we will notice that elements of similarities are taken in account. That means here we will try to understand the similar elements and here we are trying to understand only a single element. Now, what happens in systematic approach? In systematic approach, mainly we study a phenomena. As of first, we study the phenomena of the world. Then we try to understand the typologies or special patterns. So we can say the phenomenon of world as a whole is studied first. And then the typology, that means the different types or spatial patterns are identified. But regional approach, the world is divided into different regions and at different hierarchical levels. And then the geographical phenomena of a particular region are studied. Now let us understand it again. So here we can see that for example study about natural vegetation so first we will study the whole world as a whole now then what we will do then we will identify different typologies or special patterns. for example we can identify as monsoon vegetation equatorial vegetation this way we can actually identify so here we can actually try to understand the spatial distribution the spatial variation around the globe in regional approach what we do in regional approach we try to first understand the world into different regions that means the world is divided into different regions on the basis of certain hierarchies now we try to understand the uniqueness of this particular region. Uniqueness of this particular region. And we need to understand the geographical phenomena of this particular region. These regions can be designated regions or can be natural or political regions and we will try to understand the unity in diversity that means what is the unity between these regions so what we understood about systematic and regional approach that in terms of regional approach actually we are trying to understand the uniqueness of a particular region and the unity in diversity Whereas in systematic approach, we are actually trying to understand the spatial distribution over the world.
all over the globe. Now let us move ahead with another important topic of geography that is dualism. Dualism in geography. Dualism means different beliefs of geographer. So geographers actually question that how we can include geography means how should we relate geography as like there was a time in the early period when the geographers only studied about the physical features of the earth then a time came when we need we understood actually that human beings are an important part of nature. So the question remains that whether they need to only understand the physical features of the art or they also need to understand the human beings who are important part of nature or we can say integral part of nature. Dualism also relates to some other questions like whether geography should be a study of description or lawmaking. It should be a study of systematic or regional approach. It should be a study of only physical environment or human beings. It should be a study of theories or we should study it through historical institutional approaches. So the geographers are in question that how should we study geography? It should be a study of description or lawmaking or study of systematic or regional approach, physical environment or human beings or theories or histor historical institutional approaches. So these are the questions which are related to dualism. So geographers have this different beliefs or different contemporary ideas and somewhere some geographers agree with this kind like they should, geography should be a study of only physical features of the earth and some geographers they agree on geography should be a study of human beings as well so what we understood today geography and its relation with social science different approaches to study geography and dualism in geography in the next video, we will move ahead with the last part of this chapter. With the last video, we will complete the chapter. So as of now, I am logging out. Just for the time being, you just go through the NCRT. You just go through the video. If you like the video, don't forget to give a thumbs up, share and do comment and do subscribe my channel. Thank you.